You really don't want to use electronic front curtain shutter if you're using high shutter speeds. Let's find out why. Hello guys, this is going to be a very short video. This is a follow-up to my very first video, which was regarding how uh, the rendering gets affected by using electronic first uh, front curtain shutter uh, with high speed uh, shutter speeds. So anything like about 1,000 of a second will be a problem. Now, the reason I'm doing this follow-up is because uh, Manny Ortiz uh, did a video about this uh, a few months ago. Um, the only problem is that he kept referring to this as electronic shutter. And that is incorrect because electronic shutter, which we also know as silent shooting, or in the case of the A9, is also called electronic shutter. That one is not affected at all by this uh, bokeh rendering issues. It is only when you use electronic front curtain shutter that you get this effect, and I'll show you right here. So this first photo, this is the electronic shutter or silent shutter, how it is known at the A7 III and the uh, A7R III and the A7R II, for example. And it is known as electronic shutter on the A9. This is how the rendering looks. Let me just uh, blow this up a little bit higher. And the same for the other examples. So this is electronic shutter. Focus point was right here in the center where the tree is. And you can see that everything looks smooth on the back. I'm going to change to electronic first curtain, uh, sorry, front curtain shutter off. And you can see aside from a little bit of exposure change, Boca rendering is the same. Now, when you have electronic front curtain shutter on, this is what happens. You see how everything gets cut and nothing looks correct. Look here, even you can see right there how the Boca totally changed. And that super smooth line, in this case, this is a Sigma 105 1.4 lens. So this is a very smooth bokeh from this lens. And then by using this setting, you're actually losing the quality that you're paying for. I mean, it's very obvious. I will normally just go 100% to show this, but it's so obvious just going like this, on, off. An electronic shutter or silent shutter, no effect at all. So again, to correct what Manny Ortiz said, it is not the electronic shutter that doesn't cause any problem. It is the electronic first curtain shutter option, which is displayed here. And he actually changed that, but just as the, he kept referring to it incorrectly. And some of the viewers had started having some uh, confusion on, on which one was it or if electronic shutter was also affected. So I just wanted to clarify that no, electronic shutter is not affected at all by using high speed. And again, this usually happens about one one thousand uh, thousand of a second and higher speeds with fast lenses you will see this effect and if you want to blow it up and see it closer not that one you can see right here how it looks i mean it's the difference is huge we are paying for all this speed to get smooth bokeh and then this is what you get by leaving that setting on now that setting is there so you get less shorter um, vibrations uh, which is great, it's a nice thing to have, but in the case of this, for the case of using high speed sync flashes, you want this off as well. And it's one of the reasons I've been nagging Sony to give us an option to automatically disable this when we increase our shutter speeds over a thousand or even less if you want, or at least let us assign it to a button so we can quickly change it. Right now I have it on my menu, which is not so bad, but again, it's something that should be just automatic. The camera should just be able to disable this at some at some point because it's not really needed at this. Uh, when you get so high speed, there's not going to be any shorter vibration that's going to affect your image at that point. And all, I, all you're doing is if you forget to disable it, it's getting stuff like this on your rendering. So now I believe, and I have to, I should have double checked that before I did the video, but uh, if you've seen the A7R III or the A7 III, in order to get the maximum speed from from uh, your camera, like 10 frames per second, you need to have this on, which if you are doing sports outside and it's bright and you're having your shutter speed at full speed, kind of puts you into the position where you're going to have to sacrifice rendering in order to keep the speed up. That's where the A9 comes in very, very handy because you don't have that problem with electronic shutter. In the case of uh, A7R III or A7III, if you use the electronic shutter, or silent shooting, you know that you're going to get that rolling shutter effect where the lines are going to bend. So keep that in mind as well. 
But in any case, just wanted to clarify again, it's not electronic shutter or silent shooting. That one has no effect whatsoever on the bokeh rendering when using um, high speed lenses like this and high shutter speeds. It only happens with electronic first curtain shutter. Quick video. Let me know if you find this information useful. Um, please comment, like, subscribe. I'm hoping to get to the 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year. So thank you for watching. Thank you.